Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, we are going to talk about three phase inverter operating in 120 degree mode. So this is a circuit diagram of a three phase inverter. In our previous video, we discussed about uh, three phase inverter operating in 180 degree mode. One of the major difference is that in this case, uh, there are only two switches that is conducting uh, at a time. Whereas uh, in case of 180 degree mode of operation, there are three switches conducting at a time. So these are the waveforms. Uh, the pattern of switching is like this. Six one will be initially triggered. One two will be triggered. 2 3 will be triggered 3 4 will be triggered and 4 5 will be triggered 5 6 will be triggered uh, so the triggering pattern changes for every 60 degree and these are the line voltages across vab vbc and vca that are uh, respectively obtained these are the phase voltages the phase voltage is quasi square wave whereas the line voltage is stepped waveform as it uh, looks like so uh, the reason why it's called as 120 degree mode is that each switch conducts for a period of 120 degree mode before it turns off so uh, let us look at the design portion of it so the supply voltage is 24 volt according to our consideration so the rms value of line voltage that we are supposed to get is 16.968 volts and uh, the rms value of phase voltage we know it uh, will be getting it by dividing the line voltage by root 3 that is 9.79 volts in this case so one of the most important steps is that when do you trigger them and how do you trigger firing angles uh, how do you enter them in matlab because matlab you don't have something uh, to be entered in degrees you have to enter them in seconds so how do you convert this uh, in seconds? So frequency for us is 50 hertz. The time period is therefore 0.02 seconds. So 360 degree corresponds to 0.02 seconds. That means uh, 180 degree corresponds to 0.01 seconds. So uh, every degree corresponds to 5.55 into 10 power minus 5 seconds. This is the multiplication factor. So we will be triggering in this particular fashion. So for firing angle of 0 degree, that is for uh, thyristor 1, we will be triggering at 0 seconds. And for, uh, for firing angle of 120 degree that is with respect to thyristor 3 we have to enter the value of 6.66 into 10 power minus 3 seconds similarly we'll do it for 5 5 is triggered at 240 degree and um, 4 is triggered at 180 degree and then uh, thyristor 6 is triggered at 300 degree and uh, thyristor 2 is triggered at 60 degree so we will be triggering triggering according to this particular pattern uh, and we'll be entering this as the uh, time uh, delay with respect to the pulse generator block that is there in matlab so once we we have a clear picture of what needs to be entered we can get started with the simulation in matlab so let's go to matlab all right here we are so this is a simulink library browser uh, we have this feature of searching all the components that are required according to our uh, requirements so first step will be searching for power give block this is one of the most important block for the simulation to take place at that block we also need a voltage measurement block at that block as well so search for dc voltage will be requiring a dc voltage source uh, so we'll be adding this block as well once this is done we'll be using mosfet as switches and not thyristors because for thyristors as we need commutation circuit to turn them off so we can use mosfet or igbt but i'll be using mosfet in this case uh, we also need a pulse generator block in order to trigger these uh, mosfet so search for pulse and you'll be getting pulse generator right at the top at this block as well so once this is done you need series rlc load uh, we can use three separate series resistive branches or we can directly use a three phase series rlc load this will be much convenient so add this block as well once this is done uh, we need to measure uh, the rms value so search for mean you will be getting both mean and rms value but we'll be focusing only on rms value in this case be very careful we're not supposed to use this rms value scroll a little down you will be getting this rms value at this block as well so we need a display in order to uh, check the magnitude of output voltage that we are getting so search for display we will be getting a display block uh, over here at this block we also need a scope in order to check the output waveform so add this block as well so once this is done we also need ground in order to measure the phase voltage especially so search for ground and be very careful choose this ground at this block as well once this is done we'll be placing them in appropriate positions all right so uh, one of the most important things to remember is double click on this and disable the measurement port we are not using that uh, copy paste uh, the mosfet switches uh, copy these two together we'll be saving a lot of time if we do uh, copy paste them uh, together uh, one of the most important aspects is to ensure that the mosfet is in this particular direction that is upward direction drain should be in this upward direction uh, most of the times uh, people do mistakes in the way the mosfets are supposed to be connected drain source uh, 
uh, and gate should be connected in this particular fashion so once this is done uh, we will be connecting them according to our circuit connection uh, dc source is connected across uh, these two points so i'll be connecting that at as well so uh, once that is done we will be connecting a three phase load that is supposed to be connected at the points a b and c so i'll be connecting uh, respective terminals uh, at that particular point uh, one of the most important steps is uh, the pulse generator block entering the parameters as well so change the pulse width to 33.33 .33, uh, over here the reason why we are changing it to 33.33 .33 is because each uh, th thigh resistor or mosfet switches that are used here should be conducting for 120 degree that means divide 360 uh, by uh, uh, 120 you will be getting uh, approximately 33 percent of the entire duration as an so that's why we'll be entering 33.33 and uh, the phase delay is uh, uh, supposed to be zero in this uh, mosfet for this mosfet and the time period is 0 0.02 seconds for one complete cycle so enter this uh, close it copy paste this we need six uh, pulse generator blocks to uh, be triggered across uh, six different mosfet switches so place them next to each other so that we'll be able to connect it easily uh, we will be copy pasting uh, another pulse generator block over here so once this is done uh, i will be connecting this to this particular block and uh, with respect to uh, let them uh, the pulse type be in time based and uh, we'll be changing the phase delay to 6.66 into 10 power minus 3 this is explained uh, in our uh, 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 slides that is ex shown in the previous uh, uh, description so be very careful if you don't ha understand this uh, please feel free to reach out uh, with any questions and concerns you may have so the pulse generator block with respect to this um, particular mosfet is 9.99 into 10 power minus uh, 3 so i'll be entering that as well and uh, with respect to this particular uh, mosfet it should be 0 0.01665 i'll be entering that value and uh, with respect to this it is 3.33 uh, into 10 power minus 3 so uh, i hope the concept of 33.33 .33 is cleared uh, so uh, because uh, each uh, thigh resistors or mosfet switches should be conducting for 120 degree the total degree is 360 divided by 3 is 120 so if you're considering 100 percent divided by 3 you'll be getting 33.33 .33. that's the reason why we are entering this so once this is done i'll be connecting them across the respective terminals so uh, rest of the connections remains very simple uh, one of the most important aspects is entering the parameters once that is clear I guess you'll be able to do it on your own so the amplitude voltage uh, that is set is 24 volt according to our design and uh, we'll be measuring both line and phase voltages so I'll be copy pasting another uh, block over here to measure the phase voltage so the ground terminals uh, should be connected to the negative terminal of the phase I'll be measuring only VAB here and I'll be measuring VA uh, I'll be measuring VAN and VAB VAB is across these two points A and B and this gives you the uh, phase voltage that is with respect to A and the neutral so once this is done uh, I will be uh, connecting uh, it to the RMS value blocks so copy paste these RMS value blocks over here uh, I need another display block uh, to be measured so uh, double click on this and change the fundamental frequency to 50 Hertz according to our design it's with respect to 50 Hertz uh, this is one of the most commonly made mistakes uh, so be very careful with that as well so I'll be measuring the line voltage at the first place and then I will also take a look at the phase voltage by connecting it across uh, the scope over here so uh, we can directly connect this uh, at this particular point it will extend according to the number of ports that are there I'll be measuring them across this display point so uh, I'll be changing the simulation time to one seconds because these are static loads we're not using motors as such so uh, now let us click on run so as you can see according to our design we are getting 16.96 and 9.79 uh, the line voltage and the phase voltage so uh, we are accurate with respect to uh, the voltage that we are supposed to get so let's double click on the scope and check how the output waveform looks like so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to separate them and uh, take a look at them individually so uh, i'll be zooming them up over here so uh, this if you carefully observe uh, you'll be getting three steps uh, that is the line voltage that we're getting and this is the phase voltage the reason why we're getting spikes is because the transition uh, from the switches these are small spikes that are indicated so the transition of the switches uh, is what is causing because it should be exactly uh, the point when the switches off the other switch should off should turn on but uh, that's not happening in this case so uh, that's the reason why you're getting sharp spikes so you can ignore them 
them uh, but uh, overall this is uh, the type of waveform that we are supposed to get this quasi square wave with respect to the phase voltage and uh, stepped waveform with respect to line voltage so we are getting them so um, that is how uh, it is to be simulated with respect to 120 degree so if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me uh, if you have uh, any doubts with respect to it uh, uh, write down your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching this video please do like it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates